Cryostasis shutdown complete. Vital signs stable. Activating area suit. Suit diagnostic complete. All systems functional. Command interface enabled. Requesting new heading. Hey you guys, this is Alex A675309, and yes, this is my me. Alright, now, I love that thing. Um, this is Metro Prime 3 Corruption. I noticed, um, the first thing you're going to notice is that this one is a lot more detailed than the others. Um, there is a problem though, um, I did say I was going to do this on the Metro Prime 3 Corruption, the original disc. Sadly... The disc is non-working. I was depressed. Oops. Turn it off. I wanted... That one, yeah. My missiles. Alright. Now, um, this game is a little bit different because it does actually have voice acting compared to the other ones. Now I actually don't have to worry about you guys um, not having the enough time to read it. The only problem is, is I fear I am going to be interrupted by these people a lot. So just bear with me and everything is going to go good. Alright. Please calibrate your weapon by shooting these targets. Alright. Two, three, four. Calibration complete. Samus, welcome to the flagship Olympus. Admiral Dane is waiting for you in the briefing room. I will upload the location to you now. Alright, now I do not have the hint system on right now, so we shouldn't get any annoying reminders. Here, a lot of people never notice, but this is a little mini game. Um, you can actually get credits by playing this. Essentially, you just shoot, 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 you know. Yeah, you get it. Oops, sorry, Federation guy, I'm just blowing up boxes for no apparent reason. Now, what I like about this game is that you're actually interacting a little bit with the Federation. Um, it almost has that CO feeling to it. You're supposed to shoot those because that guy tells you to. Well, it's, it's basically the mechanism for bringing these things are jammed, etc, etc, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you could walk up to people... The attacks must have the old man nervous. Looks like he's getting ready for a full-scale invasion. No joke. Last time this many fighters were scrambled was during the Horus Rebellion. That was some nasty business. I have a feeling this will be worse. See, there's actually voice acting, and it makes it more interesting to... You know... Actually... Pay attention to the game. Okay. This code is... Five, seven... Yep, I memorized it. It's been a while since I played this game, so some of the codes I will not remember. Of course. You'll need to pull that lever toward you to enter the containment area. 
All right, some of the features in this game include lovers. You have to actually manipulate the lover using the Wii remote. Uh, I hate being in these small rooms like this and being not able to do anything. By the way, you can't scan gore right now, so I would suggest doing that. Biohazard scan. Status clear. Gray suit online. All right. Now this part is full of parts that interrupt me. So I mean, there's going to be a lot of um, me not talking. But um, these guys are kind of funny. You can just do your shoot them. It would make the turrets freak out. Now, the cool thing about these turrets is that, well, number one, they're scannable, which is always a plus. But number two, there's three levels. If you get to level three, yeah, you're gonna die. So I would not suggest getting to level three. Now you can talk to NPCs and they're kind of useless, you, you know. It's an honor to meet you. Yeah, pretty useless. Now these are kind of cool, they're hand scanners. Now the best thing about this is that Samus's suit, if you put your hand on the hand scanner, it'll actually um, make the hand scanner accept your handprint and it could be for anything so it's kind of a neat little feature that your suit has in this game let's see now we're gonna be heading up to the main bay now I love how they went to the dual layer disc because as you could tell this is a lot more detail than Metro Prime and Metro Prime 2 Echoes had but I want it's not a for instance, the skybox even. Look, it, it's not still. It's two layers moving against each other. Alright, now we gotta go save or else this guy right here is gonna yell at us. Why he does, I don't know. But the save, it's right behind here. Um, I don't think these are, yeah, these are not scannable in these games for really any reason. Now... There is not really any um, one-time scans. Well, there is actually a couple. Um, I haven't exactly pinpointed where they're at. There are some glitch scans too. Um, but other than that, they're pretty simplistic to find. You just gotta scan every single enemy. So in this game, I probably won't be doing as much as that. Because, you know, the lore and everything is kind of... Really? And, um, just letting you know right now, it's probably going to cut out and fade in, because I'm going to be loading up the uh, cutscene from Metro Prime 3 Corruption, the original disc, so you guys can see what the original was. Enough. <laughs> Looks like everyone's here now. Before I begin the briefing, let me introduce 242, the flagship's Aurora unit. Ah, an organic supercomputer. Fascinating. It's my understanding that the Galactic Federation's core network is comprised of such units. That is correct, Lord. And we serve as the network's master control. However, currently the network is down. That seems inefficient. But necessary. You see, seven days ago, we discovered that all Roar units were infected with an unknown virus. We were forced to bring the network down. Fortunately, our scientists were quickly able to devise a vaccine. Unit 242 was the first AU to receive the vaccine. We were able to completely purge the virus. Where did this virus come from? We believe the virus is of space pirate origin. 
Four months ago, the GFS Valhalla went missing while on a training mission in the Klar Nebula. The ship's logs revealed that they were attacked by a space pirate raiding vessel. What is the logic in disrupting a Federation training mission? They're pirates. How could they resist a prize like that? That never would have happened if I'd been there. Then it's a shame you weren't. The pirates boarded the Valhalla and gained access to the ship's Aurora unit, 313. This is how they were able to hack into the network and plant the virus. Thanks to our security protocols, we were able to shut down the network before the damage to the virus became irreversible. But we're still vulnerable. If the pirates decide to launch a major offensive, we'd be hard-pressed to defend ourselves. We must rid the other AUs of that virus and bring the network back online. That's where you come in. We need you to deliver the vaccine to each of the AUs in this system. We'd also like you to investigate the pirates' activity in the area. We need to know what they're up to. Condition red. All personnel to combat ready stations. Repeat. Condition red. Sir, the space pirate attack fleet has just warped out of some sort of wormhole. They're also heading for Sector Zero, the planet's home base. Damn! They're targeting the planetary defense system. Get down to the planet and aid the ground troops. Stop those pirates from disabling the defense system. Go! All right. Um, red alert, so let's head out. Come on, door. Open. Open. Let's see, now this is what you had to deal with in Metro Prime and Metro Prime 2 Echoes. Okay, there we go. Samus, get to your ship. We need you down on the planet. Until we get the fleet in formation. All right, nice way to start the game. Well, let's see, we need to get down to Norian. So, let's make our way out. Of course, to make our way out, we're gonna have to go and put some fighting into some space pirates here. And, yes, we do not have missiles. Where did they go? Who knows? People, it's like, I'm like, they can only say you've mysteriously lost your stuff so many times, right? All right. Now, save the space. Pro I mean, save the uh, Galactic Federation troopers. You get bonuses for saving them, and overall, it just makes the game. You know, makes you look better. Like right here, don't just ignore it. Save the trooper, because I believe you do get credits for saving the troopers. Also, it doesn't matter if you come through here and destroy all his cover. That, you know, you could do that, and it doesn't care. Which I would suggest doing, especially if you have low ammo and low health. Now, have you noticed, even the uh, charge beam has particle effects here, so that's even cooler. Alright, so we have this right here. This one took me a while, I don't understand why it took me so long to figure out. You have to act quickly, and you see that little... right there. You have to shoot that target. He'll go and thank you, say this place is blocked off, you need to find another way to your ship. So, you just go backwards. Plain and simple. Alright, now I do like the uh, Space Pirate theme for this game, I think it's actually really good, but right now we need to get this um, energy cell away from the Space Pirates because they use them to power their own equipment, and that guy behind me took it. Nice way to distract me. Now each of these Space Pirates is a different scan, you have this Pirate Militia which I think is the guy without armor that we faced, then you have the Armored these guys just run away, it's kind of a pathetic way to go, but, I mean, really? See, and then they just keep on doing the same cycle. It's... 
I don't put it, it's more annoying than anything. Come on, just die already. Of course, figured. The moment I walk up to it, the other guy would grab it. Oh man, I wish I had my missiles right now. My nice armor breaking missiles. All right. How did that one miss? Oh, come on. Forgot how much damage these things can take in hard and hyper mode. Finally. All right, these energy cells are something that's new to this game. Um, they are used to power Galactic Federation equipment, and the Space Pirates have changed some of their equipment to be powered by it. So, these are going to come up later, and we're going to be needing a lot of them. Oh, come Really? All right. And again, this is like the lever. you got to actually put it in with the Wiimote. A lot of cheesy... Um, motion stuff all right now I am excited because Metroid 2 Return of Samus is going to be coming to the 3DS really soon hopefully it was released in Japan a little while ago so we should be expecting it here within a couple weeks hopefully So I'll have our fingers crossed for that. Okay, now we're going to have these guys right here. Now for you guys that this is your first time playing, there are achievements for getting every, I think it's like 1,000 kills. Right here. Keep on bombing, and you know what? You're getting more and more kills, and guess what? They keep on spawning. So I could easily get 1,000 kills here in about 5 minutes. Now I love these things. You can actually see... The other hunters are actually doing stuff, so you could actually see them helping fighting alongside you, etc. It makes it feel like, wow, the NPCs are actually doing something in this game. Alright, now this is one of the things that they use for loading, essentially. Right now it's loading on the disc, and then when it's finished loading, it'll launch you. Pretty simple. Now, there's always one thing that this reminds me of. The garbage compactor from Star Wars. I have to say, this thing, the same green slime, I'm just waiting for a little creature's uh, eyeball to pop out here. You know? Then you'd be sucked down by a giant octopus tentacle thing. I mean, I'm just like, I'm totally waiting for that. But, instead they gave us this. All right, now we're in a different part of the ship. See, I can see our ship straight ahead. Great. Even better. All right. Now, depending on how fast you actually get through this, you can actually save that trooper. But it, again, it depends on how fast you actually go through this area. Because I think it's this area that it actually depends on. Because if you go really slow through this area, you're not going to have much time to save that trooper. So I would suggest trying to get through here as quick as possible to grab probably one of the most versatile expansions in the game. Now, I noticed that this is... No, never mind. But, 
And the missiles here are very easy to use. And it was kind of a wonder how they would incorporate super missiles inside this game if they did. Because I was thinking, hmm, they're not really, uh, I'm not sure what they would put for super missile. Like, would they have just the down button or what? Is down is for firing missiles, etc. You know, they could have put it in here, but I guess they just decided not to because they, I don't understand how my missile got shot off course. Oh. No! Come on, it just opened. Ugh. Okay. Now quickly shoot out these targets. Especially as that door opened and closed once. Is the trooper still alive? Yes. Alright. Now these things are annoying. They're more of a cheesy thing that they did for the aiming. And there we go. Now this trooper's pretty uh, useless. He'll just say, hey, there's a safe station. Which I think I may just as well use. Now, I'm probably going to save pretty soon and call this one part. Um... It's going to be like this for a while because a lot of these things are cutscene based for the original for the first part. So I mean it's going to be like this I think for the next two parts. But let's head out to our ship. Alright, I hope you guys noticed my little bumper stickers. Love those things. Basically right now, what you need to do, really, is destroy the red circles. I'm gonna scan this guy, because, I mean, he's a boss. Um, I think you face one more of these in the game. And that's a little bit later on, and it's not much different than this fight, except for you have actually something in the middle of the giant circle. But overall, this is a pretty easy fight. Pretty procedural. Now right here, I would suggest wait for it. One, two, shoot, shoot. Man, generally he shoots, generally you could get him to shoot up three, so you could do the most amount of damage. But as you can see, it's not doing really that much. Um, we're sort of getting him to the point where we can hurt him. And, come on. Alright, I need to move him. I think this guy moves to wherever you go, so if he starts pinning you against the wall, just move. I mean, he's not the smartest creature, as you can tell. Let's see. Overall, I just love how this game was designed. Retro Studios did a really, really good job on even the textures and stuff. And that's one thing that Metro Prime 1 and 2 were kind of lacking was the texture detail. And here they did really well. Okay, dodge. That one's not good. Let's see, one, two. Here we go. There we go. The top is off. So, there goes our two missiles. Now we just have to keep on hitting him until he's dead. But now, he starts acting a little bit more like... Look familiar? Ink Smashers and... Omega Pirates. And, well, Elite Pirates, sorry. 
it seems like a lot of these bosses are kind of just recycled. Now, I have thrown this model in the Gary's mod, and I have to say that it is kind of fun to throw this thing around and pose it. Um, Gary's mod has a lot of stuff if you guys want to try it. And um, I'm excited because Valve is showing interest in the Wii U. Alright, now for you guys that have not earned your credits yet, do this. Yes, I know there's a huge battle going on, but do this. You need the practice. Just fire like this if you have to. Every 10 you get to something. So, you know, I would really suggest doing that because, you know, otherwise you're going to have to wait, beat the game, start over, then do it again. Now, a thing that is different from this game than the other games for you guys that are uh, playing on, you know, that have been playing GameCube, in the games you have not been able to really, uh, you know, get very far because you're like, oh great, I missed a, uh, you, know, I missed something. So means I had to start over, redo everything. True, but not true. Because in um in Metro Prime 3 it's cool because you could start over and keep all your scans same with Metro Prime and Metro Prime 2 Echoes on this disc so you get to keep all your scans so you can keep on beating it and beating it and beating it and beating it until you have them all but I'm sorry for you guys on the GameCube it is tough to be to actually get them all in one run um so I'm gonna quit right now and um, so the next part will be, we will be going on to Norian to fight off the space pirates. This will also be replacing one of my older videos. So this is going to be really interesting to see where it goes. So this is Silex8675309. See you guys later.